after so long off screen getting the pincer just to make the Cenotaur armor. They're killing 17, I'm not 17, but 15 of these motherfuckers. I can be happily, happily happy to say that I finally got the Cenotaur armor. Now, before I go on to it, look at this. The only disadvantage to this is that the defense goes down by a fucking full lot. So my defense is now 166. But that doesn't matter because I have the one of my favorite pieces of armor in the game. Because for one, if you actually look very closely to it, I kind of look like Sauron. Look at that shit. Take one good look at that and be very, very intimidated. But enough about that. Welcome back to another episode of Monster Hunter Freedom Unite. I am Love the Amish Man, the Amish Gamer. Now, I have to fight more monsters. And don't. And everyone's going to be like, well, I'm already prepared for this next monster. But actually, I need to take out these because the next monster I'm about to fight is going to take place at night. So in order to do that, I'm going to take four of these out because that's just my repertoire. I don't know why. And let's just talk to all these, uh, you know kitties because for one I did not go to the kitchen because for one I never do this I went to the farm off screen because you don't get to see that's because I don't know I was very angry and relieved to actually get the fucking thing and off screen through this off screen training I actually got two things of ingredients on the side oh boy With that said we're going to make food and we're happy yay also, for this quest, I actually got the Book of Combos, 1, 2, 4. Psycho Serum, uh, for this, I don't really need it, but just for the sole sake of it, might as well put it away. I have Bomb Material, Flash Bomb Material, or Material to make Flash Bombs, which is Flash Bug and Bomb Material, Flash Bombs, 2 Trap Tools, and 2 Gimprey Fang for the Shock Trap, and the stuff to make potions. Oh wait, I forgot one more thing too. I have to go back to the kitchen for this, because, well, for one, this is the most important thing of it. I have to take Musashi. Because Musashi is important. Alright. <laughs> and I have the perfect weapon for this, because the monster I'm fighting is weak to thunder. Yes, cry thunder. Oh, I'm not going here. I should have done off screen, but I don't care. We're going to fight a monoblos. Yes, a monoblos. Yes, if people know what this monster is, good for you. People who don't know what this monster is, you're going to see what this monster is immediately, or you've probably already seen this monster a few times. And I knew I forgot Sonic Bombs. I'm a moron. I'm not going to go back to it because I'll lose everything for it. So you know what? I might as well suck it the fuck up and actually go do it with two Flash Bombs. Anyways, let's find out where this thing is. Hello, buddy. Tell us where the Monobros is. It is in 7. Good. One of the best areas to go to, in my opinion. And might as well eat the rations, because for one, rations are good for you. Rations give you lots of energy and stamina. And I should have brought my own steaks, but I didn't, because I'm a moron as well. I'm going to emphasize that I'm a big fucking moron in this video, because I'm going to. And I see kitties over there. I'm not going to bother with them. I'm going to go to seven. And there's a cutscene. Be afraid. Be very, very afraid. This monster kinda sucks. But in a sense, it gives good challenge, and my god, it instantly went straight into the wall. Oh yeah, and it's weakness. And, when I first found it, I cut off its tail. I feel accomplished. And we got a new item on the boss shell. And the good thing about the tail, you could cut it twice. 
So I get double the amount of blow shells. I am so happy. I am a happy panda. Or a happy little monkey. And damn it. I knew I forgot something important. So in order to do this. I'm going to have to exchange it for the Fogcaster. As much as I do not want to. I have to. Regardless. Toss. And why not. Just for the sole fact of doing it. Ah oh, god damn it. God damn it. Stop it. Okay, next on the agenda, cutting off its horn. You can actually do cut off its horn if you hit it long enough. Now, hitting it, on the other hand, is easy if you get it stunned. However, if you don't get it stunned, you are going to be in a world of butt huts. <laughs> oh shit. Oh yay. Okay, let's make another one. And yes, I am being a little bitch about it. I want the horn. So don't question. T just don't say that I'm a little bitch about it. I want the horn and I got rammed up the ass with it. <laughs> Shit. <laughs> but regardless enough, I actually am doing quite well. See, look at that. I'm doing quite well. Oh look, you're gonna you're gonna you're gonna try to attack me with your tail that's gone and ow. Ow. Move out the way so I don't get hit. And while it's gonna look at me and toss the flash bomb. Yay! I've stunned it! I'm going to cut off your horn, I'm going to be happy about it. And you hit me with your stub and I'm mad. That's really mad, I'm just a bit disappointed. And why am I trying to go for another Phantom Savage video want to be? I don't know! Cut off your horn, good sir! Horn! Goes! Off! Most creatures go boom, and some creatures go die, and not. Ooh, wait, I can actually show this off, if I can. Damn it! It did not work. It didn't work. I got the uh, cephalos off, but that's not it. You know what? I'm I'm actually not going to show what that does because if I do, it's going to be a waste of time, and I might get hurt. Oh shit! It, I'm going to get hurt. Actually, no. Where did it go? Oh, it ran off to three. A good area, if I might say so. Why do I think that area three is good? Simple. You can get its horn stuck in a wall. Like what I did earlier. Even though it was unintentional. Okay, buddy. Get your horn cut off now. Thank you, motherfucker. You got your horn cut off. <laughs> Thank you and have a nice day in hell. Thank you, pretty boy. You're no longer pretty. You're no longer a pretty princess. Oh, I'm so sorry. Did I hurt your feelings? Good. Your feelings need to be hurt. And I do need to make another one of these, though, just for the sole fact of having one. Alright. Move out of the way, because it will target you, even though I really don't want that. And I don't want the Gimpre to actually attack me. Because, it, if you ever noticed that I was wearing Genprey armor, Genprey armor resists, pretty much reduces the chance of being paralyzed. Now that I don't have that anymore, I'm screwed. And now I'm going to attack its stub, because that's where it's weak to. Or weak at. The stub. Believe it or not, it's weak at the tail. Kind of like the cut, uh, the kazoo. I was going to say the Kutsuku. Kutsuku is actually weak to the head. I wish I could throw a boot to that head, but I can't. And I've noticed something. Not once did scream. Not once. I have discovered that. Not once did that fucker scream. And I've fallen unconscious. Mother. Fuck. And no one ate dinner that night. Then again, after cutting off its tail, I can see why it would kill me instantly. Don't you dare. I hate you already. Is it because I didn't call you a pretty princess, or you're just pissed off in general? I'm just mad at you. 
Oh god damn it. I'm losing my mojo and it's not good. Oh shit, I'm gonna leave. I'm going to be the intelligent one and leave. I am actually disappointed that I died my first attempt fighting this stupid thing. You know what? I am angry at you. I'm wearing, go I'm wearing good armor. Decent armor, as a matter of fact. <laughs> and oh great, it went back to seven. It went back to the area where it lost its fucking tail. And oh, don't worry, little children, you're going to eat monobloss steak. I am fully aware of this. Toss this if I can. Damn it, it did not work. Nothing works as I want to anymore. So you know what, in the meantime, slicey dicey. Roll the dicey. Heaven and Hell, Purgatory Limbo, Lakidaka, Shinga, oh fuck it, I, I forgot. I forgot how it goes. Come toss, thank you. Good, you fell for the old trick of look uh, at peekaboo! And I don't get it, I actually have the weapon that you're weak against! You're weak against thunder! Cry thunder, you little bitch! Yes, cry fucking thunder, and good, you finally died! Taste my lightning, you fucker! Good. Ugh. Ooh, Monoblo Spine. That's actually pretty rare to get. First time. Monoblo Shell. Because look at this. Let's let's take a look at the Monoblo Spine. Monoblo Spine. Five. Very good weapons. You, that's the only thing you can get from that is actually a spear. And I do not like the spear. Oh yeah. Another thing. Another good thing about the Monoblos is that you can actually kind of carve it four times. Just like the Plesion. Except the Please Earth has a very broken hitbox. And like I said, it's a massive cunt from the get go. I digress. <laughs> ha! Hi, Musashi. It's been a while since I had you in my party. Because off screen, when getting the stupid armor, the Scimitar armor, I did not have to take my cat with me because I was afraid if I was capturing this thing, it would kill it in the trap. Because the only way to get the pincers is by capturing it. A lot of people say that breaking up both its claws will be and killing it would be easy. It's not easy. Well, regardless, I got the blood red horn, which is a good one. The bloss fang, another mob bloss spine, which is good, and wow, flashbug and fireflies. That's actually pretty good to get from the kitty too. All right, a decent 800 yeni, and oh, I forgot. Yeah, died once. Yeah, two thousand four point two. Uh, I think meters or centimeters. I don't know. And it was new movie in gallery. Roar of the, f roar of the horn. Since we did not kill that beast already in my pro in this person's file, I imagine my personal file, which is not on this memory card. I think. I actually have all the films for this. But regardless, we're actually going to make something new to the farm. Yes, we could either make the fishing pier, which, fuck no. <laughs> We're actually going to make a mining point. The second part of the mining point. Which, da 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 you get another floor of mining. Only one part of it, though, because there's actually two parts. Yeah, spoilers, there's another mining part over there. Alright. With that out of the way... That's a, you know what? I'm gonna I'm gonna be into the kitty. Here, take my large barrel bomb plus. Go boom with it, and give me good shit. That wasn't good enough, and I gave you a plus bomb too. Cause on a small barrel bomb plus, I actually got dragon eye door off screen. It's actually surprising how that works. Anyways, the other mining spot it actually takes the the chance of getting stones off. Instead, you get like I think dragon eye. Not Earth, well, Dragon up to Dragonite, I think, for that one. But I ever do digress. Great, Ladybug. I need one for the uh, insect thicket, because I actually need to upgrade the thicket a little bit more to get Herkadromes. 
because believe it or not, Hercadromes are actually a uh, cinder box. Hercadromes are actually very important when making, well, armor and weapons. As the ex example of actually making the Black Katana Mark II. Okay, I don't need these anymore. I need this. I don't need that anymore. I don't need... Well, yeah, don't need that anymore, because the next monster I'm going to fight is a real pain in my ass. Oh yeah, I don't need these anymore. Don't need all the monoblast crap. There you go. Hmm. Oh yeah. Honeybox. That's actually another thing I need to upgrade, if I had enough points. Which I need to do off screen to actually get a lot of poke points. Anyways, what can I take off screen? Hmm. Well, not off screen, what can I take? Excuse me. Actually, for that, I might as well just take these, just for the sole fact of, you know, having them out. Where are the game right? There they are. There they are! Take this, take this, take this, take this. Immunizer. Okay, that just makes it, you can recover things more, recover your health more quickly. Okay. Alright. And we're done here. I was going to send Trinya out, but nah. Trinya doesn't need to be go taken out. Okay, what can I create with the mono... With the, uh, okay, there's nothing there. Okay, there's something here. The Crimson Club. I'm not going to make that. Nothing over here. Yeah, the Crimson Lance, you need the spines. Two of them, to be precise. And the horn, which I'm not going to make, because I'm not a big fan of the lance. Even though some people say that the lance is a cool weapon. And what do we have here? Ooh, the Tigrex! Ooh, Tigrex! Fun! Oh, this is... I, I, I'm I not going to do that one yet. That's the Tigrex. The Tigrex. That monster that put... That bitch slapped me off a cliff. Yeah, that thing wants to fight me now. Or they want me to fight it, and I'm not gonna. At least not yet. I will fight it eventually. I will not fight it now because I'm not ready. Take your Velvine, and Texas is now level 5 and I got empty bottles. Are you implying that all Texans are alcoholics? Because I'm not an alcoholic. Sure, I do get drink beer and a lot of fancy, fancy girly drinks, but that's beside the point. Anyways, great mutton and cordial onion. Alright. After a tasty meal, we're actually going off. And we learned feline courage. <sighs> I wish it was like the courage from Legend of Zelda, but I digress. Anyways, Musashi, what can I get you? Ooh, 121 points. I actually want to see what I can give you. Epperson. <laughs> Anyways, I could give you the I could give you the demon flute, but I'm not going to. Wind negate. That actually kinda works. I'm not going to use it. Ooh, defense plus. Fuck it, you're learning that, buddy. You're learning defense plus. And actually, while I'm at it... While I am at it... Because I know that this is actually all... This is, I'm going to use this all of a sudden. Thunder. There you go. You are going to learn thunder because, for one... Thunder is very important. I'm not going to let you learn fire just yet, but oh well. Okay, might as well use this one, because what I'm about to fight is the red version of the kazoo. And some people are going to say, are you going to make a bio for it? Qu the answer to your question is no. Why should I? Because it's basically the same thing as the kazoo. The only, dis the only downside to it is that it's a pain in the ass. A bigger pain in the ass than the normal kazoo. I mean, God, it's just very, very simple. But it's at nighttime, and I forgot Psycho Serum. So this is going to be a joy to find. Not really, but I will make it so. Okay. Hot drinks. My wild instincts tell me that he's probably going to be in Area 5 or 6. Or two. Or I don't know. Well, luckily they gave me poison throwing knives, so I can, I can actually poison the bastard. But yeah, let's go find us the pain in the ass known as the Red Kazoo. Let us go!
Well, after trying to go to Area 4, it shows up in Area 3. And it's, it's spotted me. Hop over. Thank you. Let me paintball your ass, because for one, I love to paintball. I don't play the game, I wish I did. And you know what? Let us shock trap it before it does anything. There we go. Yeah, normally it's weak to, f to water, but for fire, I had no other choice because I couldn't find any fire weapons. Or water weapons, excuse me. Some people say that this is not a good idea. I personally stopped caring. And to do the certain belief that I cannot do anything right. Okay. You know, on the topic of Monster Hunter, you know what I wish they would make for the Vita? Which is god ungodly impossible. Why don't they just make another um, Monster Hunter Freedom game? Why don't they make it for the Vita? I mean, they did it for uh, Monster Hunter Freedom 1, 2, and Unite. Why can't they just do it for this one? Why can't they do it for the Vita? Show the Vita some love. Because the Vita... I'm sorry, I actually own a Vita, and I actually love the system. It just doesn't have any good games so far. Granted, it has a lot of decent titles like Persona 4 Golden, Soul Sacrifice, and all the other titles that are coming out like Tearaway and Mur uh, Muramasa Rebirth and New Little King Story. There's just not, not much good titles to it because since, since Nintendo actually released news of Pokemon X and Y, the Vita has, has been almost royally butt-fucked. Not in a bad way, but still. I just wish that the Vita had a little bit more love, to be honest. But it is good that it actually has some indie develop, like indie games for it, like Sound Shapes, Limbo, Sign Mora, which I actually own on the Xbox, which I might do a Let's Play of in the near future because all that is is a very good game. It's a it's a good um, side-scrolling shooter with a de really interesting story, as dark as it is. Oh yeah, and this is why I do not like the kazoo in this state. It, it does the same thing as a Cenotaur. And it's annoying as balls. And that's why... Oh god, I forgot. The red kazoo can also use that attack. It doesn't do as much attack power or as much attack as it, as it would if I had Ginfrey armor, but still, regardless. Yes, I knocked it over. Good. Your ass is grass, motherfucker. <laughs> oh shit, 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 shit. Wow, it actually didn't do that much damage. I was actually scared that it actually was going to do a lot of damage. But just one simple potion and actually fixed that right up. All right. And I knocked it down again. Wow. That's actually pretty interesting. And I'm going to move out the way. Because knowing the kazoo, it will be a troll and do that. Really? Again? It just did the same thing it did earlier. Yeah, I'm, I'm kind of sad now. Oh, shite. Didn't do that much damage, but I'm still complaining about it. But back to the Vita. The only games I've actually tried out as demos that some people don't like, like most critics are giving mixed feelings for and some that don't like, Silent Hill, Book of Memories, and uh, uh, Resistance, Burning Skies. Those two games on the Vita aren't that bad. I actually tried the demos for them, and they're not that bad. My favorite thing about Resistance so far is my my new all-time favorite combination of a weapon, which is the shotgun slash crossbow. I actually love that combination. That is actually a cool combination. I want that in the zombie apocalypse. If the zombies get way out of hand, and yeah, it's, it's very bad to actually have a gun like that. That actually makes a lot of noise. But the crossbow will do a lot of damage because of silence. And that's, that would make me a happy chappy if I actually did have a shotgun slash crossbow combined. 
and me fanboy me fanboying over that actually has gone way too far and oh god oh it still has the paintball on it and what it's doing is the most gun godly annoying thing that me and my friends actually raged at this thing for okay it's mad good I finally did damage to it finally you know it's gonna you know it's really mad if it's if I have done that much damage to it Slicey dicey, good. You did not go on the wall. God damn it, you went up on the ceiling anyway. And you came back down from the ceiling. You need to make up your mind. But I will take this though. Oh, Wyvern Tears. And oh god, I forgot. I have enough to make this. Okay. Oh yeah, and I forgot. Poison knives. Ow. Poisoned. I actually poisoned the bastard, which is a good thing. And then might as well chuck the last few at it, and I missed on the last one. God damn it. Okay, let's look at it. Let's observe it. Oh, it's running away, actually. We pissed it off that much that it's running away. Yeah. <laughs> We're gonna eat dinner, we're gonna have some flabby steaks tonight, my friends. And yes, un believe it or not, there's actually a real item in this game called the Pale Kazoo Steak. You know, I wonder how, I wanna know what, how that would taste. I honestly do. Okay, we're gonna, okay, we're gonna put this down so it doesn't move any, ah, oh, god damn it. Okay, stay right there. God damn it. And I kind of flicked my microphone. <laughs> like a moron that I tend to be. Come on, Kazoo. Come on. Hop over this way. Oh no, walk over here. Good. Good. Fuel my... <laughs> Fuel the stupidity of you even more. And I'm almost close to killing it. I can almost taste it. Yep. Oh, shit. Ah, oh, shit, monkey. I don't want anyone to go without Kazoo steak tonight. I do not want that. Oh, God. Do not. Don't you dare. Ooh. Stupid Kazoo. Aw, oh, damn it. I, I, I knew it was coming, I could have dodged it, but I didn't, because I'm, I'm just that moronic. Oh god, no, 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 ow. Oh god damn it. Thank god the cat's over there. Alright, now you're going to see why I love this armor. Look at this. Swipe. Done. One... Oh god, god. Now now it's going to sound like that 1 is greater than 4 now, and that's stupid of me. Now people are going to say that I'm a fan of the Xbox One. Even though they have actually announced that their, their feedback that they got from the fans actually helped. Which in some fact it did, but then a lot of the fanboys of Sony are getting all aggressive by saying, Yeah, feedback matters. Blow it out your ass, cocksuckers. Ah, oh, god damn it! No, 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 no! Oh fuck you, Ginfrey! You say you you doomed me, then saved me. How swell! But this has gotten to the point that I'm kind of disgusted with um the game community as itself. It's like when we're talking about game when they talk about games, they're all like civil about it. When they're talking about um, consoles, they get like, they become like children, like, they become like bullies with each other. It's like a gang war. And it, it gets to the point that I don't know if I should be proud to be a gamer or disgusted by them. But I can say for sure that I'm kind of disgusted by it. I'm more disgusted by it, but then some... Ah, a good analogy. I'm disgusted by it by watching Onision's videos and seeing that he has fans. There. That's a good thing to be disgusted about. It's more disgusting that Justin Bieber has fans. It's more disgusting that Two Girls One Cup 
actually fucking exists. It's shit like that that makes me wonder. Then again, a lot of things about society makes me wonder. Granted, some parts of the community is not bad. But when it comes to the, the internet community, oh god, it's I'm I'm not gonna go in great detail about that. Because if I do go into great detail, I would probably lose brain cells within the, in, like with every minute that I speak of it. Which is a big contradiction because I am talking about it via the internet. Ouch. All right, you're close to death. I know you are. Yep, it's standing still. Ow. And as soon as I said it's standing still. But then again, back to the Xbox. Did them actually changing anything make me want to get an Xbox One? Not Well, not entirely, because I had mixed feelings about the, my, the Xbox One, and I still do. But do I still want one? If I ever did get one, it would be for games that I would actually care for. And there aren't many games that I particularly care for. So far, the only thing that I would care for is Halo. That's it. Ah, oh, great. You, you, you screened five times already. Quit... Now, now make that six times. Yeah, you're acting like a child. You're acting like Onision when he found out that a lot of people hate his videos. Oh, seven times now. Calm your flabby tits. Calm your flabby tits and deal with it, bro. Or it. Oh, shit. I do not want to get paralyzed, because that's the one thing I have to fear for now. Being paralyzed. I know you're pissed. I know you're angry. Just show me your anger more, and I know you're dying soon. Oh, god damn it. Because I'm looking at its body. It's weak. It looks very weak. I mean, my god. It is close to death. I know it is. Oh god, that that actually was pretty quick of it. Yep, it's flying away, and I I don't know where it's going. Shit. I have a wild suspicion it's gonna go to three. Oh no, it's actually gonna go to four. Is it going to four? Let, let's check. Let's check three first. Because naturally it will go to a cave if it's about to die. Alright, it's not in here. I have a wild suspicion it went to seven. Oh god, I hate it when I don't paintball the monsters. Oh, there it is. I was right, it did go to four. Might as well paintball it before it does anything. Oh shit. Paintball it. Oh good, it's standing there. If it stands there like a moron, it's close to death. See, look at that. If it's standing, if it does things like a moron, it's about to die. And see, it's dead. And note, this is not with just a water weapon. This is a fire weapon, which is surprisingly, and which is surprising that I actually could kill it with a fire weapon. And giving my cat thunder. That's funny. Oh, and I didn't even get red kazoo armor. Or red kazoo hide, which is bad. And I'm surprised I didn't die to this one, but I died to the monoblos. Monoblos. Hit Delgado. That's pretty much what that is, it's Delgado. God damn it. Eh. Yeah, knowing that these bastards will probably ruin my dance, I'm gonna kill them all. I'm gonna kill them all and enjoy it too. Yeah, they're dead. Now I can dance. And before I could get the chance to dance, they ruined the stupid title. Ruined it. Fuck. Ah. 
Oh yes! Oh yeah, I did get a luring hide. Okay. And be a monster bone, and what did the cat give me? Nothing. Useless. Not really, but still. And you know what? Before I actually le end this video off, I'm just going to give a suggestion or an idea for this channel. I don't think it will work, but it's just something I have. I'm thinking about making a kind of a quote-unquote rant section of the channel called Let's Analyze. Or t Let's Talk About. I don't know what the title will be. I like the thing of Let's Analyze because I'm looking at it from my perspective and giving some logical and... I was going to say logical and perspective, like perceptive, I don't know what the word is. Fuck, I forgot the word. But I know it has to do with something about giving opinions and facts and logic. Oh yeah, it's just calling giving an opinion about something. But anyways, with that said, I want to know if that will be a good idea. Probably, probably not. I don't know. I might make one video of it and post it sometime during this month or next month. I don't know. But anyways... With that in mind, this has been Levity Amish Man, the Amish Gamer. Keep on watching one off. So goodbye, farewell, adieu. But most importantly, I'll see you in the next video. So, until we meet again, ta-ta! Mm -hmm.